Hi, I'm Silvana Munzi. And I am Lourdes Morillas. And today we are going to look at lichens. We will explain to you how lichens help us to understand the impact of climate change and how you can help others better understand these impacts. Today's global changes are affecting nature. The high rate at which we make and use the earth supplies for population growth is increasing pollution and climate change's effects. In these times, it's important that we measure all these changes in nature to understand their effects on ecosystems and take action to protect them. Lichens can help us do that. But first of all, what are lichens? Lichens are living organisms created by the combination of at least a fungus and algae and come in a variety of shapes, colors and sizes. They usually grow on trees, rocks or soil and can be found in any ecosystem. This means that you are probably very close to a lichen right this second. Lichens can survive in the harshest conditions and are great bioindicators, meaning that their response to environmental changes can tell us a lot about how the world is affected by our changing climate and pollution. So, did you know that you can become a lichen scientist too? Follow this four step to help us out by collecting and sharing lichen related data. Remember, Lichens are living things, so please observe them without disturbing them. First, record environmental data. Use the data sheet to record the key characteristics around the lichens. The climate surrounding them, the presence of green areas in their proximity, the distance from pollution sources, the species of tree they are on. Two, identify lichens. Follow the instruction in the lichen booklet to make your very own lichen grid and use it to record the presence of the key lichen species that you will learn to identify on trees. 3. Record relevant lichen parameters. Select some special lichens that you will assess over time. Measure their size, observe the surface and the reproductive structure and take note in the datasheet of any change occurring to them. 4. Share your data with the scientific community. With all the data you have collected, you can now share it online so that other researchers can use it for their work. You can send the data sheet and any picture you may have to us, and you can also upload the picture and location information onto the iNaturalist website. This collaboration between students and researchers will create the first monitoring network of schools in Europe, while providing a baseline liking status to compare with future samplings that would alert us to potential environmental impacts in the school surroundings. And there you have it. Now you know what lichens are, how important they are for measuring environmental conditions, and you've even contributed to scientific research. Thanks for watching.